it's very important that everyone finds a space where they feel they belong it's because then where else do you go? For me, my experience of connecting with safe space and connecting with my queer identity started from the moment I arrived to San Francisco. A place called Colossus, 1015 Folsom. I think what sticks out prominently is a Galeria de la Raza. Those AOL chat rooms. <laughs> and I found family there, family that, uh, chosen family that allowed me to um, be. It was like walking into the Champs Elysees. To me, it was seeing all these artists, this creativeness. My friend kind of like tricked me into going there because I was like really scared and nervous to come out for the first time and looking around and, and being like, why are there all ladies here? And then they're like, it's a gay bar. And I just like, I literally ran out. So it took me a couple more years to, to build the courage to, to actually go, go into that space. Those places are sacred. It's, um, it's church to a lot of us. You know, those spaces are where I found some of my best friends. Going to Esta Noche really was this space where not only could I be queer, but I could also be Chicano. Both worlds were like aligned for the first time, you know, and that, that space was just so amazing. Now, like, with the infiltration of you know, money with the tech industry, like, you know, those spaces that I once considered, you know, a safe space, it, like, they're disappearing. Everyone thinks, oh, San Francisco's so gay and amazing. And I mean, it is a, a magical place, but it's changing so fast. So in a way, I'm mourning, and in a way, I'm also ready to fight back. We have to look at what our arsenal is, and our arsenal is the cultural arts. Our arsenal are the rituals of our communities. So as an artist, I'm going to do everything I can um, to tell my story and tell my narrative and push. We are not aliens. We are not different from anybody else. You know, we're just trying to survive and create. Just try to find your spaces. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a bar or, you know, a club. Like, it could, it could be a community center. It could be, you know, someone's house. Like, you can create those spaces anywhere. As long as you, you know, you're yourself, then you're, you create a safe space. That's why I make it a point to look extra gay every day.